As Americans, we don't think about clean, safe water. If we want a drink, it's right at the tap. That's not true in a lot of places in Africa, including the Songea area of southern Tanzania. There, water is drawn from rivers or shallow, hand-dug wells. These wells are similar to those depicted in fairy tales and history books, the kind that are large diameter, brick-lined, and water is retrieved using a bucket lowered into the well. Except that these Songean wells are not lined with brick. In fact, there is no casing to protect the well from surface activity. And by using a bucket to retrieve water, it is difficult, if not impossible, to obtain clean water. This well, located on the Jirani Mwema property, used to be the water supply for the site. But it has since been abandoned and now is downright dangerous and needs to be filled. Songea's kids received a grant from Living Water to replace this unusable well. Jirani Mwema invited me, Russ Pryor, as a representative of Engineers Without Borders, to travel to Songea and work with local people to construct a replacement well. Before I arrived, the location of the well was chosen by Filippo Kaduma, a Tanzanian hydrogeologist. He based the location on the presence of a plant with a deep tap root and a large water demand. He believed that drilling had a good chance of encountering water in sufficient volume. The hope was to obtain 800 liters per hour. The well was drilled by the foreman Richard Mwageni and his team, Dominicus Mwageni, Abdullah Ramadhani, Samson Malinga, and Shaibu Hakiku. The first step was to set up the tripod which supports the mechanism used to raise and lower the solid stem auger. Here is the drilling team spudding in, the term used by well drillers when they first start drilling. The drillers simply lower the auger into the hole, turn it until it's full of dirt, then pull it out of the hole and clean it by hand. Here's Samson cleaning the auger. The process is repeated as the hole is drilled deeper. Drilling proceeded at a rapid pace. The first 8 meters were drilled in one day. Water was encountered at 7 meters deep and drilling continued below the water table just as before. In three days, they reached a depth of 16 meters. Just past 16 meters, trouble. Drilling slowed down. The bottom of the hole began to cave in, but the well needed to be advanced past this zone because this caving layer will add significantly to the well's yield. In order to get past this layer, temporary steel casing was placed into the hole. Although the progress slowed down, it was the right decision because the hole was advanced to bedrock at a depth of 21 meters when drilling ended. The finished well was constructed using PVC casing and a seal was added to the upper portion of the hole to prevent surface contamination from migrating down the outside of that casing. Finally, further protection was afforded by constructing a concrete pad at the surface which doubles as a base for the installation of a hand pump. The final flow rate of this well is 1300 liters per hour, greatly exceeding the goal of this project. <laughs> 